Hi, this is Ed with GI Tactical, and I'm just going to go over the all the gear I took down and that I used at uh, Operation Faded Giant 2 down at the GTI facility hosted by American Milsim. So, for BDUs, I was actually wearing proper uh, multicams, which uh, first time I was actually wearing them, they were very very comfortable. Pockets galore, uh, so I put those to good use. But starting off, I was actually running a Condor battle belt. Uh, with my old uh, duty uh, belt uh, running through, uh, a couple of uh, Condor mag pouches for both pistol and my M4s, dump pouch in the back, and again an old little uh, pouch that I was running, uh, kept my dead rags in there and my bandages. So that's what I had around my waist, and attached to that was my uh, Condor drop leg holster with my KWA, KWA M9, PTP and my Serpa holster. Love Serpa holster, so that was attached firmly onto it. Didn't get a lot of chance to use my pistol, but it was always nice to have as a backup. Um, so that was attached uh, to a quick disconnect right here. So I made it for uh, very, very easy uh, in the end of ops to just drop the belt, get a little bit more comfortable. Uh, it was running Mechanics Impact Gloves. Uh, thankfully, I got uh, lit up by a guy running a Polestar. There were a lot of guys there with Polestars and my knuckles got lit up real close and so I was really thankful for this additional padding on the fingers. So I really, really, really love these gloves. Uh, onto my chest rig, I actually have a uh, Shellback Banshee uh, plate carrier here. Uh, I've got a source hydration. Uh, you've probably heard me talking about how important it is to stay hydrated. Uh, this was one liter uh, and it got emptied a lot. So I had this on. Uh, I've got my front pouches on here holding six mags, uh, obviously from England, so counting my British Army patch here, and I was running with UFS, so there's my UFS patch, and this little star says, hey, I attended an American Milsim event. Um, on the side, I actually kept dead rags and extra batteries, chem lights, uh, all sorts of useful things for the op. So that was on the side here. Ran really well with my plate carrier and um, my battle belt, it was very, very comfortable. The only time I kind of dropped my battle belt was when I did an IDAM one night, uh, and I just ran with my chest rig, because uh, I didn't need all the ammunition and the extra weight. So really, really like this, again in multicam. On the back here, I actually have a uh, Condor hydration carrier. Uh, I run a Polestar, so in the back of this, this is where I keep my tank. So this was my uh, chest rig and battle belt uh, for guns. You know, I was running a sidearm. It was the KWA M9 PTP. Um, this is my Polestar that I have. Uh, I've got an NC 3x9 illuminated. Uh, worked really, really, really well. Um, when we were proned out, laid out, getting ready to uh, surprise uh, those uh, cost people, uh, this was really nice just to be able to sit there, get in, get a good scope. It was great for spotting uh, movements. Um, I've got a uh, Gemtech. Um, barrel extension on here. I'm running an Ogre 6.23 uh, wide bore uh, fusion engine. Um, so real happy with this. Uh, it ran really, really well. It takes a little bit of time to get it uh, to get Polestars exactly where you want them. I'm almost done with this, but this one performed really, really, really well. Um, Sunday, I kind of got up late because it was a bit tiring that night on Saturday, so I didn't have time to uh, get my air tanks refilled, so I ran my um, Umarex uh, 416 CQB. Um, I ran this also for the IDAM. I've got my UTG, it's a 200 lumen uh, LED flashlight uh, with uh, one of these great little grip pods. Uh, pops out into a bipod, which really helped uh, getting prone out and just being able to lay down some fire. Um, ever important duct tape. Never leave home without duct tape. You never know when you're going to need it. So that goes on here. Quick disconnect. Uh, again, Gemtech barrel extension. And I have a little UTG red dot. And that was uh, pretty much my equipment that I was running for both Saturday and Sunday's game. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask.